So you gotta get into a chance contact. So you gotta get to, get to a knee assault. Chance contact is when you're not, um, when you don't see the enemy first, but the enemy sees you or uh, before you see them, or you see each other at the same time. But the, uh, and the fire is not so heavy that you're being suppressed. So it's chance contact basically. So you gotta get into a knee assault, which is basically quickly get into a line or just get all your firepower up front as quickly as possible and get shooting as quickly as possible. The anyone if they see a contact can get contact front. Keep up, keep fire. Everyone gets a line. Everyone fires. Then you give more accurate contact reports if you need. And then you gotta do either two things. You gotta peel back or fire in movement, which is basically peeling forward. So you either gotta peel back or peel forward in a sense. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. As for yeah, so which one you're going to do depends on what DS tells you to do. So we decide if we want, want you to fall back or go forward. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. 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 Not for long. Nick and Gecko are still needing to get here. I don't know if check what's going on. All aboard! Look at it. Can you explain the range to them, Phoenix? Yeah, so we start with the tower, more or less. You go along the road to reach contact, contact with the other on the line somewhere, and then you conduct your drills. Uh, we gotta start without without any fire, so you guys can practice by yourselves. Um, and you're free to use the range, just the one you can get the gates among each other to do one by one if you need to. Come on. Come on. Get out. Alright, guys. Uh, so, uh, your, your teams, if you want, you can break up into your patrols now and discuss the, the drills, and you could uh, just practice this workout on it. If you have any questions or comments we would like you to, to uh, test you on it or whatever, then we can do that if you want, whatever you need. Alright, guys? Get up Oh, wait, someone's already. Laugh, it's on the We'll patrol down the road and see it. Let's go. We'll walk and talk. Oh, this is patrolled on this road, and then when we get a little bit of ways away from these lakes, and we'll talk and discuss. Mm. I'm just gonna walk in this way because I can't get left. I'm back to normal now. I say. I wanted to break it down. So, for example, if we're patrolling up this um, up this road, and the video shots fired, okay, obviously that's not your chance contact. We're gonna bring our arms to bear and um, fire upon whatever is firing at us and then we'll end it there we'll practice that a couple of times and then we'll move on to you know from there we'll do the same thing and then go a step further with firing movement and then from there a step further with peel back peel forward peel left peel right etc Chop was very Smoke out. Reloading. Oh, okay, guys, safety tip. Yeah. Uh, safety tip focus your axis of fire uh, towards the hill line with fortifications to avoid hitting other patrols. If they are all to where? using it at the same time. Yeah. To the hill line with fortifications, so to the west. Oh, oh cool. So that you can do can, it can, can we, with others. Can we use it as a direction of march? Um, no, the direction of march is generally on the road, at least that's how it's evaluated, but you can do it however you want now for practice. But just for your fire, because other patrols may want to use this course at the same time as you, so just uh, focus your fire over there to avoid hitting each other. Alright. Thanks, Phoenix.
was actually fucking pretty quick. Just killer you got reactions of a fucking cheater, man. Might as well head out in the patrol. So if we don't get into a, a crossfire. Contact 6 o'clock, see ya. He's just catching his breath. All right, um, Bravo One. From my side, you had good movement, good rate of fire. Uh, not good on fixing though. Um, I saw you guys were shooting in a totally different area at times of where the target actually was. But uh, after a while, you did get a fix on the guy, and then you you all aimed at the same spot. That's what my comments from for Bravo One. Uh, Alpha 2, your initial cover 
was not good. After you got into contact, you guys, well, that's basically all of you, uh, basically just got either prone or on your knees and stood there until you waited for my order. Now, in a normal firefight, I wouldn't necessarily do that. I would rather just maybe get to cover and organize behind cover or something, you know, have a look at what's going on around you. You know, my one thing that I would do in my patrol is I would say check cover. I don't know who knows that. Yeah. It's just the thing that I normally use as a, as a patrol lead. If, if we run or jog, I just say check cover. It's nothing official. It's just something to add on if you guys get under contact um, and there's nothing between you and the enemy. Obviously, either you're going to form a line and fire back, which you did do, but um, yeah, maybe it's the exercise. So I'm not going to criticize on that. Sorry, sorry to interrupt, but I, I definitely thought that the point of the exercise was to uh, call contact, open that person opens fire, everyone forms line, and then from there we are actually waiting to see whether we're moving backwards or forwards. It is. It is the exercise. That's why I'm not going to go majorly okay. into that one. Um, um, but, uh, do you mean that they went? Didn't, they didn't use the cover in front of them or something? Like there was cover just like ten meters behind them, but they would stand in front of it while waiting for my command right. to either go forward or backwards. Right. But I mean, as you said, uh, Gecko, it's not that wasn't the exercise. Yeah, I mean, I I can say as well. We actually discussed that, um, and we decided that that when a fire comes once the line is formed the peel instantly makes a decision of what to do um and i say i think as gecko said i think we were we were kind of like that motorbike test where the person tells you to go left or right we were waiting for that to happen <laughs> all right um alpha two peeling back in the beginning was 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 very open um there was cover to your right but then you peeled back into the open area. Wasn't that Alpha 1 though? Alpha Al 2. Al oh yeah. Okay. Um, line of fire. Once you guys peeled back, there was a couple of instances. Firstly, Gecko ran into the other two's line of fire. And then when the other two peeled back, they ran into Gecko's field of fire. We must have a look at peeling back, guys. We must be aware of what side that guy is running to because if you peel back and that guy is firing and he's looking through scope or whatever he's going to fucking shoot your legs off so just be aware of peeling back and where your member is by peeling back make a rule that if you peel back you turn right and run right and then back you know just like okay. two meters or one meter just to the side and then back so you know the guy will be on your left when you pass him, or whatever. Uh, that's a patrol thing you need to practice. Right, point taken. Um, yeah, twice line of fire, and then group movement. I made a note, but I can't exactly pinpoint what happened. Um, it felt to me that you guys didn't entirely move as a good group, um, but I might be misreading my own notes. Alpha 1, nope. this is criticism guys, but it's a uh, positive criticism, take, take it and work on it. Uh, Alpha 1, once again cover, but that's irrelevant. Your line of fire, you also went in front of your buddy teams. Grouping was a bit, was a bit off, you guys were at the end. You guys started spreading out and you formed your own group. It's a one-man group, you know, as what I, th what I saw from, from this tower. It was one guy was running, and then the other guy was running, and then the other guy was running, while that guy was still looking for cover. Um, and that was mainly caused by... Da, 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 I missed a trip. Yeah, overweight. And Yella is Amor Sorry for the fuck. Oh. <laughs> uh, I beg to differ. You Ramon guys were supposed to peel back. 
to this wall. Yeah, you guys were almost on the other side of the map. But we came around the wall. Well, it didn't make sense because you were peeling back onto open terrain where I can more clearly easily shoot at you instead yeah, of directly to the wall. We, were, we kind of lost you in the dip, but when we went up the hill again, I, you obviously spotted yeah, I, I, I would have given you a better score, but you, that, 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 that move to the open unnecessarily and not to the area which would break contact for you as quickly as possible was was the downfall. From my side, you're crossing your line of fire. That was That happened a couple of times. Um, I did see that when you guys moved along the racks, you did try to move outside at one another's line of fire. I did see that, but you were still very close to running into one another's fire. I tripped you, you're way too heavy, and then um, obviously the peelback point was this area behind us, and you were going the other way. Bravo 2. Want some cuts for Bravo 2. <laughs> um, <laughs> firstly, check your targets. I know they weren't supposed to be there, yep. so I actually got. I actually thought, well, am I gonna end it or am I gonna fucking leave it because yep. they weren't supposed to stand there. What, one what? note is when I started shooting, I forgot to unhide myself, so I could have contributed to that as well. You couldn't, couldn't see me. Uh, 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 to, uh, to be honest, a little bit in our defense there is that you know we. As I say, they weren't supposed to be there. We fired up. We weren't sure if they'd been, you know, were being used by the DSs as, as, as you know, assailants. So it was fire no, from that direction. There were people good. that were visible. They got taken out. You sound like Oscar Pistorius, man. <laughs> Dude, you're lucky you went behind a fucking bathroom door because then I wouldn't have stopped shooting at all. <laughs> that, was, that was Brother Wood's fault. All right. Uh, you guys were struggling to fix on target, mm. but once you get, well, once you saw me, um, the amount of fire that came uh, through the wall was very good. Um, so I think the MG did his job over there. Yep. And then thirdly, we're spread out way too far. You guys were, I'm gonna, I'd rather ask what were your plan or what was the plan because I know the exercise was that you need to bound forward okay. um, yeah the, okay that's my mistake then because I called that the plan to move obviously um, I didn't know that we you know we specifically had to bound forward maybe I should pay attention to detail and uh, well obviously the reason why we we're so far sort of spaced out is because of the flank maneuver Okay, so you did a flanking maneuver in a bounding forward maneuver. Yeah, you. We, we bound forward up to what the cover could carry us, and then from there we flanked. Bravo 2. Hmm. He's failing. Alright guys, we need to peel uh, from here, we need to peel a bit more 
Get to the next BMP. Bravo. 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 Bravo.